Dr. William Key was a self-taught veterinarian that practiced medicine and traveled the world with his well-trained show horse, brought awareness and humane treatment of animals. Dr. William Key was born in 1833 in Shelbyville, Tennessee. He was born into slavery. Even in his childhood, he was known as the Horse Whisperer. William fought in the Civil War to protect his master's family. William also participated in the Underground Railroad. William made it through the war and with his love of animals, started a veterinarian hospital. He began to race horses and tried breeding the fastest racehorse. This is how Jim Key was born. Unfortunately, he was not built for racing, but Dr. William Key was able to train him to do tricks. Beautiful Jim Key could read, spell, and do math. In 1897, Jim and William started to tour the United States, demonstrating Jim's ability and William's humane treatment of the animal. Jim had skills that no one had seen before. Dr. William Keyes was really great at training horses and could definitely be called the horse whisperer. Beautiful Jim Keyes' most famous trick was stealing apples out of the drawer. Jim and William even made it to the 1904 World Fair in St. Louis and was one of the biggest attractions. They continued their show for nine years. People traveled from far away to Shelbyville to watch the beautiful Jim Keys perform his show. President William McKinley said, the most astonishing and entertaining exhibition he had ever seen. President McKinley also said that William's work was an example of what kindness and patience could accomplish. It was Dr. William Key's kindness and patience that made him so notable in the animal community. He was one of the only trainers who did not use force. He was a pioneer for the humane treatment of animals. And during the time he was famous, he had both white and black admirers and fans. Williams was an entrepreneur. He had a hospital, a racetrack, a hotel, and a restaurant, and sold his Keystone liniment and medicine while on tour. William and Jim retired in Shelbyville. William passed away in 1909 at the age of 76. Jim lived till 1912, and there's still a monument in their hometown today. Beautiful Jim Key's most famous trick 